everybody, this is Justin Muncy, and today is Good Friday. I'm about to do two services tonight. I think my call time in is about two hours. I know a lot of you guys are involved in the church world in some way, and so I thought I would run you through my process of how I get ready for the weekend. The only anecdote is I have already practiced these songs, and thankfully there are a lot of songs that I've already done, but I'm just gonna show you what goes into it, how I, how I do it step by step, and we'll uh, do the weekend together. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to Planning Center, everybody's favorite. I actually love this program, especially if you use it correctly, you know, where the music director or whoever is in charge of operating Planning Center is uploading all the files, the ISOs, and everything in the right key signature. That makes my life a whole lot easier. Okay, our first song is Revelation Song in D. What a beautiful name. Oh, praise the name. At the cross, lead me to the cross, cornerstone, and living hope is on standby now. Well, it's a good thing that I checked that out. <laughs> okay, cool. So at the cross is just piano. Great. So we have our set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my RJM Mastermind Editor. I'm just going to open up my presets. And so I'm going to go over here to set list. I'm going to go to Saddleback because I'm playing at a Saddleback church. All right. And I already started, so I put Revelation Song in one, What a Beautiful Name two, Oh Praise the Name, Lead Me to the Cross, Cornerstone, and then I need to load up Living Hope. There we go, Living Hope, Phil Lippin. That's awesome, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my pedal board out and I'm gonna connect it. Okay, let's open this bad board up. Cool, need this, I see. Board! Okay, come on, baby. Hello, best friends. Okay, so the next logical thing to do at this point in time would be to load the presets into the RJM. Basically, nothing's changed. I'm just gonna go file. Just kidding, I'm gonna go to transfer. Connect to device. Great, connected, awesome. And then we're gonna transfer. So, right changes to device. And this process takes some time. Gotta stay hydrated. So one time my mom came into my room when I was still living at home and she saw this metal slide. And I think as any concerning mom would, she looked at it and said, is that a crack pipe? And honestly, I don't even know what a crack pipe looks like. I was like, no, it's a slide. Cool, it looks like we're all loaded up. Let's grab the White Falcon because that is the most worshipful guitar you could use and uh, make sure it's all up and running. So the first thing I have is an intro preset. Clean, verby. Next one is drive. I'm gonna bank up. Next song is with a beautiful name, and that is a song I just used three presets for. I find with the Hillsong songs, you really only need. Sorry, sorry for all that hum. I find that you really only need three presets for most of the songs. Uh, it seems like there's like a clean drive and then maybe a more driven or like a 80s chorusy thing. This song I do more often, so I'm more familiar. I have a verse sound. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll underscore the piano, you know, just doing. Playing the bridge is copying the piano line. I go. And then I have a big drive, so I'll just usually hit chords or something on the way out. Praise the name. I have a verse sound, which is. Looks like just the, you know, clean thing. Oh, I have a chorus of, for the chorus, ironically. Now 
Okay, so I'm using a dual delay sound and it goes uh, C. So I have a clean sound, I have a dry. Living Hope is an interesting song. It seems like everybody has their own take on what the correct way to play this is. When you listen to the ISO, it kind of sounds like a guy is just dancing around, you know, with a really dark sound. So what I what I generally play, I probably don't even play it the same every time. I'm gonna turn the tone all the way off on this guitar. So usually what I'll do in the verses is I have a swell patch <clears throat> and then I will kind of dance around so I might go like just texted me can I ask you a favor what do you think he's gonna ask me to do the next one is lead me to the cross which I actually haven't programmed yet all right cool so I'm gonna make a preset for lead me to the cross right now so we established it's at 140 BPM so I'm just gonna click this button 76 great we're close on thing oh yeah it's double time like yeah close enough great so I'm gonna just dial back to 140 Cool. I want a tape delay. It's pretty much the only delay I use on this thing. Oh, you know what? I think we should do it at 70 because I want that dotted eighth, but I want it slower. So I think my initial my initial idea was better. So da no no no. Oh, look at that. 71.4. Pretty close. Great. So we're gonna go down to 70. Let's hear it. So I think mix wise, maybe it's Start somewhere in the middle. I'm just gonna move it back a little bit and then I'm gonna, let's hear it with no filtering. Yeah, it's a little too much. I, I like it honestly pretty much off. Let's like, Cool, and then let's maybe play with this a little bit. Yeah, I think that sounds cool. A little bit of that um, pitch shifting. And then how many repeats we have? That's plenty. Well, I got a text back and he said, would you be down to bring both your Gretsch and LP? Not saying I want to play one, but just in case as a backup since it's a long weekend and if anything happens that we need to switch or break a string or something, would you be comfortable with that? Of course. Duh. Cool. So really all that's left is I just got to pack up all this stuff. So now I got to bring two guitars, which I wasn't anticipating, my pedal board, my cables, and my amp because there is no backline amp at this location. I'm going to pack it all up and go 
And then there will be a part two of this video, which will be more about the rehearsal and playing and all of that, if you're interested. So you can, you can tag along. I hope this was helpful and that you have a wonderful Easter. I guess this will be posted after Easter, so I hope you had a wonderful Easter. All right, see you later.